Congressman, I know this is a Senate choice where they're going to make the choices on some of these key picks, and I do want to go into some fiscal issues that are a big concern to you. But what do you make of that if, if you don't, for example, follow either the president-elect's bidding or others' bidding, uh, that, that they would primary you? And your House said, I don't think you have to worry about that, sir. But the point is, is that constructive? Does that yield results? Well, I would say the Senate obviously has a role. That's why it's in the Constitution. But we got to remember, and I think the Senate would be smart to remember that their majority uh, is due to Donald Trump and his work across the country for the last four years campaigning. That's why they have the majority in the Senate. And these are the people that he has selected to fulfill his mandate that the American people want. It's going to be reflective of him. And these look, if, you, if you've got an issue with one of the president's nominees, I think that's appropriate for for those members who have an issue to go talk with the president about it. But I don't think it's appropriate for them to go out to the press and try and leverage that for whatever, you know, whether, whatever it's for. I don't think that's appropriate. I think it's a, a conversation that needs to happen between them and the president. And then finally, the same folks that oftentimes are against Republican nominees seem to have no problem voting in favor of Democrat nominees, even the most questionable ones like Mayorkas and other folks, which I think reasonably um, deserve more scrutiny and have done great damage to the country after the fact. I think you have to put that all into yeah. the mix and decide what's right here. I, no, I hear where you're coming from. I just wonder if we can go too far to threaten primarying someone if they don't do what you urge or say, right? Well, I, I don't know that the president has done that. Right, uh, right. You know, look, the Republican Party is a party full of people that are independent thinkers. We don't take orders from anybody uh, except our bosses, the American people, the Constitution, and the good Lord above. That having been said, if we're not going to uh, fix things in our own party, we certainly can't rely on the other party to do that. Well, that's well pointed out. I, although I wonder, uh, Congressman, I don't think anyone could intimidate you out of voting for or against someone and, and threaten you with a party. Uh, you know, a party challenge, but we'll see. Um, Congress always uh, good on that. Let me uh, switch gears on we're losing sight of the fact, not you, but uh, that we, we could be staring at a government shutdown and, and not too long from now, a little over a week and a half from now. How likely is that? I don't think it's very likely. I don't think any of us want to see that. I think there are ways out of it. But um, I, I think, again, we got to be cognizant of the fact that every hundred days we had a trillion dollars to uh, to our debt here. And, and at some point we and, and what is the point? So we have an opportunity right now to make some to make a difference and to make some changes. If our colleagues on the other side of the aisle don't want to do that, I think that they should face the scrutiny of voters and the ire of voters, um, because everything that they've done over the last four years have increased our cost from from lumber to lettuce. Everything you simply buy, everything is connected to energy and spending at uh, the federal level. And now's an opportunity to make something different there. And we should pursue that with all vigor. All right, Congressman, we'll see what happens. Scott Perry, the beautiful state of, of Pennsylvania.